Good morning children. Today we are discussing some interesting facts of sound. Sound is an important chapter in your physics and you have been learning about sound from your lower classes. We know one fact about sound. It is sound is a form of energy. We know different kinds of energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, light energy, heat energy. In the same way, sound is also a form of energy. So now we are going to look at certain general things about sound before we study the physical properties of sound. So we are going to study the physical properties of sound in this chapter. But let us have some better understanding, a general idea of sound. Let us come to the first thing what we are going to discuss here is that types of sounds. All sounds are not alike. Right? All sounds are not alike. This is helpful for us. When even though you are blindfolded, even though you are in a dark room, you can notice, you can observe, you can percept so many things from your surroundings. You are on a busy road and your eyes are blindfolded. You can hear the sounds. Motorbike, you can identify. Car, you can identify. Bus, you can identify. Train, you can identify. Because they produce different sounds. So you are in the first floor. Somebody is calling from down. You didn't see who is that. But you will come to know that he is your brother. Or she is your mother. How do you know that? How could you guess that your mother is calling you? You will notice her voice. You will recognize her voice. That means all sounds are not alike. Sounds are different. That means the properties of each sound is different. And there are n number of sounds are produced around us. Our ears, they can listen to the sounds, they can receive the sound and they can analyze what the sound it is basing upon the physical properties. That means your mind knows so many physical properties of sound better than you. So you are learning now in standard 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. But you are already equipped with, your mind is equipped with such skills of identification. Even though you don't know all the, you, your mind doesn't know all the laws, formulas and everything, it can easily analyze. That is the capability of our brain. It will analyze so many sounds, basing upon their physical properties. So now here we are going to study the physical properties of sound. The first point here we are noticing, sounds are different. Different sounds. What is the difference? Your mother called you, your brother called you. What is the difference? Your father called you, your mother called you. You will be able to identify whether he is he or she is your mother or father. You will be able to identify that sound is your mother or father. But how? There is difference in the voice. Voice in the sense. There is difference in the sound. So by that way you can identify. So the difference in the sound in the sense, the properties of the sound produced by your father is different. The physical properties of the sound produced by your mother is different. So in this way you can identify. So sounds are of different types. Voices of people. Vocal sounds. Vocal sounds. Sounds are produced by a pair of vocal cords here. That is what we call it as speech or language. People use it to communicate. Different kind of languages. So the voice is one. Sounds of animals and birds, these are different. You go to a zoo park, you go to a garden, you will find so many sounds of birds chirping, animal sounds. So these are of different sounds. Music. Again, music is a collection of various sounds and number of sounds, different, different sounds. Music is a combination of different sounds. But it is an 
it is not an unorganized combination it is a well organized combination of musical instruments so when all these sounds are well organized or composed what we call it as composed a music director or a music composer will compose different musics so then you will get the music so music is pleasant we can enjoy it even though there are so many sounds involved in it it will be giving pleasure to us when we listen to music it is a recreational activity listening to music noise what is this noise noise is an unorganized sounds collection of unorganized sounds unwanted sounds sounds which have more okay i don't say any property right now physical property say that more loud unorganized not properly mixed so a band of four people they doesn't know how to play the musical instruments they are hitting like anything all the musical instruments without any rhythm the piano the keyboard and the drums or the cymbals or the saxophone what they have they are simply playing it out you will say it as a noise you go to a busy road all the bikes and cars vehicles they are giving the horns they are blowing the horns people are shouting so there you find lot of noise it's a collection of sounds these sounds are not pleasant and these sounds are not composed properly these sounds are very unorganized no connection with each other and just they are produced like that so such sounds are called as noise music sounds of animals voice sound of water water flowing air blowing trees moving their leaves so like this there are so many different types of sounds in the nature there are different kind of sounds in your environment even right so now you got an idea about different kinds of sounds the scope of sounds now come to the second one importance of sound is sound important can't we live without sounds right we can see the animals why do we enjoy that why we need to enjoy the sound of the animal 